Ryan Halicki with the WKBN 27 First News Forecast. A very unseasonably warm day today. We got up to 80 degrees. Temperatures today more summer-like than spring, but changes on the way. I'm tracking a storm system that is sending rain and thunder in our direction. We'll have showers and storms by tomorrow afternoon, and things will be turning colder tomorrow night. Snow, unfortunately, is going to return here Tuesday. We could even see some light accumulation as this storm system pushes through. So let's enjoy these temperature readings while we have them. 71, the current reading. That's the official at, uh, reading at the airport and south southeast wind at seven miles per hour. It was a breezy afternoon winds. They'll calm down for now, but they'll pick back up tomorrow afternoon and look at these numbers. Most spots low 70s, mid to upper 60s, a mild night across the valley and and, uh, temperatures will steadily fall though tomorrow night as we get this cold air mass that you can see. It's still well to our west 36 in Minneapolis. That is the air mass that will slide in behind this frontal boundary that moves in tomorrow and you see that 36 there. Well, we're actually looking at lows that will be even colder than that here by the time the middle of the upcoming week rolls around. So you'll see that in the seven day forecast. Let's continue here with uh, what's going on. This storm system that's moving in our direction. It's sending the clouds our way now. We'll We'll be hit or miss overnight with partly to mostly cloudy skies and we'll be waiting on the rain to push in. Radar's quiet now, going to stay quiet overnight, but tomorrow that's when we'll start to see this moisture pushing in. You see uh, Illinois into Indiana, heavier rain developing there and notice behind it the snow. That is associated with that cold air that will follow all of this rain that will move in. And yes, we are looking for some snow. Let's track this on future radar. We start at 1 in the morning, mild night, temperatures staying in the 60s. Tomorrow, they'll try and climb back to the 70s. Your morning commute is looking dry for now, but we are going to see that uh, the rain developing as we go into the afternoon. So your drive home looks much soggier than the commute to work. Temperatures try and get to 70 tomorrow. Rain developing, chance for thunderstorms in there too. And then we'll see the rain sticking with us during the evening hours and overnight. That's when temperatures really start to tumble here. Notice by tomorrow morning or Tuesday morning rather hovering in the middle 30s and still falling. That's when we'll see that change over to snow Tuesday morning and snow with us during the day Tuesday and into Tuesday evening before it finally tapers off. That sets the stage though for a very cold night Tuesday into Wednesday. We could be breaking another record low here. So here's your details. 63 degrees tonight. Unseasonably warm. Enjoy it for now. Tomorrow 74 the high. We'll see showers and storms developing. Wind continues and then temperatures start to fall tomorrow night. Showers the threat for storms will be early on in the uh, evening hours tomorrow. Overnight, it'll just be some rain we'll be dealing with. And then the high Tuesday, that'll come at midnight. Temperatures will fall steadily through the day. We'll see rain that'll change over to snow. Some light accumulation possible, especially on those grassy surfaces and your cars and back patios. But uh, then we'll drip, uh, dip down to 20 degrees here by Wednesday morning. That would be a new record low if we can hit that. Not very warm Wednesday, only 46. But we get back to the 60s by the time we wrap up the work week. As we head into next weekend, we'll have a chance for showers on Saturday.